Today we're here with the university. They've invited us along to work with their specs course, their sport and exercise department, and we're going to be helping them out to do some VO2 max testing. We've got two athletes coming along from Compound to help help the specs course out. One of them is Rebecca Aikenhead. She is a three-time national champion and a record holder for New Zealand. And we've got Briar Burdenshaw, who is currently training for the Crusader Series and in preparation for that. Yeah, how goes? So we kind of have to structure it. So you're just about to do a VO2 max test here at the uni. Um, quite excited. It's a good place, a good way to get some, collect some data and know what paces to actually be doing in training. So yeah, just using it for as a tool really. Um, a wee bit nervous because I know you just got to push yourself to to your limit to be able to see um, to get the best data for yourself so yeah looking forward to sitting down with my coach and going through all the data as well. Hey, I'm Briar. I'm here to do my VO2 max test today as well. No expectations, don't really know what I'm in for at all. Um, just kind of keen to have a look at my stats and compare them to what my watch has been telling me. I roughly gauge my runs off my watch sometimes and to see if that's accurate or not will be will be cool to see. The whole mask thing is going to be an interesting dynamic for me, very claustrophobic, um, so I'll see how I go. That will probably lift the heart rate one <laughs> by itself, um, chucking that thing on my face, but yeah, we'll see how we go. You look like um, Bane off uh, Batman. VO2 max involves is it's an incremental test um, until we reach your maximal um, ability for your body to deliver oxygen. We then hook them up through um, the Cosmin machine which is a gas analyzer. It measures um, your, your respiration which is your oxygen intake, your carbon dioxide expiration and um, tries to do get your RER which is your res respiratory exchange ratio. And then what we do is how we find your maximum value is a, hopefully you won't be able to go any longer, um, but we also see around 90% of your age predicted maximum heart rate through the heart rate monitor. We see that your carbon dioxide expiration has exceeded your oxygen intake, um, so you'll see a sort of infliction initially, your oxygen carbon dioxide go up and then your carbon dioxide passes your oxygen, which means that you're producing more carbon dioxide than oxygen you're breathing in. The time display, we're just looking at all the time, the speed and the RPE. RPE is rate of perceived exertion, so how hard you feel she's working. Um, if it, can, if it shows like 6 is very light, 2019 is very, very hard. So when it caps out at about nine, when it caps out about 17 to 19, that will be a sign to stop the test because she's working well past capacity. And then speed is how high she's going, and time is just how long she's been going. Uh, so what we're looking for on here, heart rate, and then we've got uh, your VO2 up here and just monitoring RQ. Uh, it's not going to go over uh, 1.1 yet, but um, yeah, it's watching these and then adjusting the phases, so increasing the speed. And we're going up, we're going at minute intervals, doing a three minute warm up. And yeah. Yeah.
got it? Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, awesome. That's it. Well done. Good stuff, bro. Yeah, so. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it felt good. Oh, yeah. It, like, I was like trying to stop where I can stop the speed and go for the gradient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I got to 14 and then it started getting the incline. Yeah. Which the incline felt like much easier jumps than the. Oh, really? Yeah. And we know that these are accurate results because. One of the criteria we're looking for is for this number to be above 1.15, yeah. which is, and you've done that, which is, so we can like clearly say that you've given the maximal effort and this is a pretty um, accurate representation of your V2 max. Mm -hmm. um, this graph doesn't really show it, but um, there's normally like a plateau near the top, yeah. which also shows that you've given max effort. Yeah. Oh yeah, pretty yeah. Not really much in the heart rate, but yeah. in terms of that red line there, that's pretty top stuff there. Yeah. You're higher than the average. Oh, that's good. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. there a um, can it tell you like what pace you should be doing that? Or zones? Or? That's more than the lactate would be for. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. How was that? Uh, it was good actually. Um, I thought it was going to be three minute intervals, but it was a minute interval, which was nice. But there were no breaks, so it was just continuous. Um, but no, it was good. The guys that did the testing were really helpful and like gave good encouragement, so it was yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting, like all the heart rate stuff. Yeah, I think I'll get some good information from it. So I just need someone else to decipher it. Just off. Products himself and them. No, that was good. Um, I didn't have any really like expectations on where I was going to get or um, how far I was going to get. Uh, so walking away feeling like I gave it a good shot. Uh, everyone was really cool. Uh, explained everything really well and really supportive. They make some good cheerleaders in there too. As expected, didn't love the mask, uh, but I took some deep breaths and got through it. <laughs> Big thanks to the university and the sports and exercise department for having us and to the students at the Specs course for running the session. Good to see sports science and athlete performance connect like this and we can't wait for next year to help you guys out. Thank you.